Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss triangles. Now how do you calculate information on a triangle using trig ratios? If I gave you a triangle and I gave you two sides, you would be able to use Pythagoras to sort out the other side. So if I gave you 6 and 8, you would use that information to calculate AC. But what happens when we don't have enough information? So I give you that AB is 12 and I give you an angle of 35 degrees. Now you can't use Pythagoras because you don't have two sides. To use Pythagoras we always need two sides. Right, what we start doing now is we start using trig ratios to solve triangles. The first thing you need to do is you need to choose an angle. Now this is a very important step. If you start working without choosing your angle, later the answers would be incorrect. Once you choose your angle, so in this case we are going to choose 35 degrees, you mark your O, A and H, your opposite your adjacent and your hypotenuse. Now we had learned this in previous videos where we had discussed the O is always opposite the angle. The H is always opposite the 90 degrees and the A is the remaining side. So our O in this case is going to be AB. Our AC is going to be our H and our BC will be A. So once you mark your O, A and H, then you say side you want, the side you basically want to calculate over the side you have. This is going to give you a ratio and you're going to put the angle that you had chosen. After you do that, you're going to calculate using algebra. So let's say I want to calculate BC. So I'm going to say the side I want over the side I have is equal to now if you look, the side I want, BC, is A over the side I have is O. Now A over O is what ratio? What ratio is A over O? The ratio is cot. What angle did I choose to work with? 35. Now let's fill in what we have. We don't have BC, but we have the value of AB, it's 12. It's equal to cot 35. Now from your previous videos where you had learned how to use a calculator, you know cot 35, we're going to press it in your calculator as 1 over tan 35. Then to get rid of our 12, we're going to multiply by 12, but what you do on one side, you're going to do on the other side. So we now have 12 times 1 over 1035, which will equal to BC. The reason we're multiplying is we want to cancel the 12. So you've now pressed this information into your calculator. Remember to close your brackets, otherwise your calculator would usually say error. BC is equal to 17,14. So you're going to choose your angle. You're going to mark your O, A and H. You're going to say side you want over side you have. It will give you a ratio. Let's say we want AC. If we want AC, we can now use O or A and we can also simply use Pythagoras because we have a 90 degree triangle. Let's do another example. 
sometimes the triangles are not always pretty or they're not always straight. They sometimes skew. But the rules do not change. Right, first rule, choose your angle. Now remember, you could choose 72. If somebody wants, they could choose F. When we're choosing an angle, we can never ever choose the 90 degree angle. The 90 degrees is linked to hypotenuse, so it cannot be an opposite also. So when I say choose angle, I either mean E or F. It's better or safer to take the one that they had given you. So in this case, I'm choosing 72 degrees. Now I'm going to mark my O, my A, and my H. O opposite, H is the hypotenuse, and A is the remaining side or the adjacent side. Then I'm going to say side I want over side I have. going to equal to a ratio and an angle and then it is calculation right so let's say I want DF so DF is the side I want over EF is the side I have DF is O EF is H now O over H you must know your trig ratios you must be able to know these six ratios by heart. So O over H is sin. Which angle did I work with? 72 degrees. Now substitute what we have. We don't have DF. But I have EF which is 15. Now we're going to calculate. So I'm going to multiply by 15 to basically get my DF alone. Then it's simply putting it into your calculator. So we're going to press 15 sin 72, which gives us DF is equal to 14,27. Okay, these are the methods you'd use when you are given one angle and one side. Remember, 90 degrees is not considered as an angle. What happens when I am given two sides. When we are given two sides, the basic rules still stay the same. Choose your angle. Now in this case, you know you can never choose a 90 degree. So you have a choice of choosing A or C. The choice is dependent on you, but it would affect your next one. Then you mark your O, A and H. So if I were to choose angle C, My O would be AB, my H would be AC, and my A would be CB. Now once you mark your O, A, and H, look at what you have. I have O and I have H. So what ratio is created with O and H? O and H you've got sin or you've got cosec. When you have a choice, you always choose sin. So I'm going to look at what I have. I know I have O and H. So I'm going to say O over H is equal to. So you're going to make your ratio. O over H is equal to sin. And which angle did I choose? I chose angle C. Now you substitute and then you're going to use your calculator. So I have 20 over 35 is equal to sin C. Now when I say use your calculator, we are calculating an angle. When we are calculating an angle, we're going to press shift, the ratio, and the value. If you are not familiar with this, 
go to our previous videos where we had discussed using a calculator. We're going to press shift sin 20 over 30 close brackets. That would give us our angle. C is equal to 34,85 degrees. Now, once you got one angle, you can simply get the other angle by calculating sum of angles of a triangle. You can get the other side by using Pythagoras. You don't always have to use trig to solve the triangles. You use it for information that you can't use other methods, but once you can use other methods, it's advisable to go on the easier methods. But for interest sake, let's say you wanted to calculate A. Now we choose A as our angle. Look at what happens. This no longer becomes my A. This now becomes my O. H still stays my H, but this becomes my A. So once we choose A, we've now swapped our viewpoint. We now make A, if we're working with angle A, then CB has now become our O. And AB has now become our A. Let's draw the triangle again. I'm using the same triangle. But I am choosing A as my angle, which would now give me this as O, AB as A, and H as AC. So can you see the difference? So can you see the difference when I had selected C as my angle, AB was my O. Now that I'm selecting A as my angle, AB is my A. So be careful, it's very important when you choose your angle how you are marking. Right, so now I have A and H. A and H give me what ratio? A and H gives me cos. Which angle did I choose? A. So I've got 20 over 35, which is my A over H, is equal to cos of A. How do I calculate A? Shift cos 20 over 35, which will give me 55,15. Now, if you calculate sum of angles of a triangle, you will see 55,15 plus 34,85 plus 90 give me 180 degrees. So, when you're choosing your angle, it's important because it will affect your O and your A. Once you choose your angle, you can continue with working. Thank you for watching.